how to use rapid locking systems tool. Today I'm using the RLS tool. This is a press tool and I've never used one before. So hopefully I'm going to show you how to use this the right way. And this is going to benefit me in a huge way because I'm not going to have to braze or use flare connections today. I'm going to show you how to use the RLS system. You're watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad. Let's start using the RLS tool. Let's open up the boxes and see what's inside. This is the first time that I've opened this up. I do have the two fittings that I'm going to be using. And these are straight fittings. They're couplings. This is 3 8 and quarter inch. That should be what we need. This right here is the depth gauge. And then we've got a marker. And then we've got a tool to make sure that we have a correct uh, crimp when we're finished with the press tool. We've got a battery charger. We've got a chamfering tool right here, and that's a way to clean that pipe. Ooh, tubing cutters. We got some tubing cutters. We got some cloth to help to clean that pipe. And this is what's in the first box. Here's the second one. And these are our jaws, okay? So we can go all the way up to, what is this, inch and an eighth, wow. So we've got quarter inch, five sixteenths, three eighths, half inch, five eighths, three quarter, seven eighths, and inch and eight. So quarter inch all the way up to inch and eighth. And then we've got another set of tubing cutters, a steel brush, a, another crimp gauge right here, another chamfering tool, ooh, rigid and then another marker. Excellent. So the first thing we need to do is we need to make sure that we charge the battery. So that's pretty simple. I'm gonna take the battery course. We got a battery, oh. Oh, instruction manual. Definitely read the instruction manual. And proudly made in America. I'm happy about that. So. We're going to start using this thing. Hopefully today it's going to be a success. Let's plug this up and charge battery. Today I'm replacing this indoor coil and this indoor motor for this wall mount air handler. And if you don't know how to replace an indoor motor on a wall mount air handler and you don't know how to replace an indoor coil on a wall mount air handler or do a leak check, I'm going to put a few videos down below so you can learn all of that. Today's video is just about using that RLS tool and learning how to press and the reason I'm doing it is because I don't want as many flare connections uh, these are in the attic and they're not the easiest to get to and I just don't want to have them so I'm gonna actually cut this copper right here and right here and I'm gonna use the press tool this is pretty clean but we're gonna go ahead and clean it the way we would if it was dirty copper so I'll slip this back on I'm gonna go ahead and take out this other coil while that battery charges and then we're going to get prepped to use the tool. Now I'm ready to connect these two pipe connections right here. And instead of using the flares, I am going to use the RLS press tool. So what do I got to do? I got to take and cut these and cut these. Make sure they line up. And then I will clean the copper piping uh, to prep for the RLS. So... I'm not going to make you watch this. I'm going to get these cut using this uh, rigid set of tubing cutters. And then when I get further along, I'll bring you back in for the rest. Now I've got the flares cut and I've got these two pipes uh, pretty well lined up to where they're going to connect together. So I'm going to take this cloth here and I'm going to clean the end of this connection really good I'll get these cleaned off and then I'll I'll uh, show you what's next so while I'm prepping the copper I noticed there's a little dent right here you see that little dent okay that's unacceptable so here see if you can see that see that I can't have that so I'm gonna have to cut it out you want to make sure that when you prep this copper and there's no dents like that in it, otherwise you may not get a good press and it may not work. And that is the number one key when using 
the RLS tool. Prep is just as important as being able to use that tool the correct way because we don't want to use the tool and then it leak and that's what will cause it to leak not having the pipe uh, clean and having everything without dents so all right now that I've cleaned up the copper really good I'm going to use this chamfering tool here so just to make sure that this piping is properly prepped oh yeah I'm going to make sure we deburr and ream out the ends really good. Now we're going to use our marker and our depth gauge. So uh, we're going to take this, put it here, and mark it. All right, that's for quarter inch. And we're going to take one for three eighths. And then on the other side, make sure it goes all the way in there, quarter inch, and then three eighths. And now you can see we got a mark here, we got a mark here, and that is to make sure we get the right depth. And that's the depth gauge. All right. <clears throat> all right, there's our coupling. Put the coupling all the way on. And then this one. Oh, I'm gonna have to have two hands. Lay that down. Now we're gonna insert the 3H jaw. We're gonna take and turn this piece here on top. Whoop. Stick our jaw in. And then take and push this in here. Okay, make sure it's nice and tight. Okay. Now, before we use it on the fitting, we're going to take and run this in. All right. Now it's ready. So, take and lift this up. All right. All right. I'm going to try to get it to where you can see it. Ready? All right. Other side. <clears throat> Super simple. All right, now for this one. Now we're gonna get our quarter inch coupling in place. Push it all the way in. All right, it's all the way in, we're ready to go. Now we're gonna insert our quarter inch jaw. like we are ready does it so quickly that is really cool man now to make sure it worked and we did it correctly this is our little crimp gauge so quarter inch yep Okay, so that one was good. Three eighths. Oh, can't get to that one. Okay, it goes on there, so it crimped it down correctly. And I should be able to see RLS on those fittings. So now we should be able to see RLS. RLS, RLS, good deal, RLS. Okay, now let's go do a pressure test. We are pressure testing the nitrogen. 450, well, that's a pretty good amount. All right. So we got about 400 and 425, 435, so 435, we're going to leave it there, 
we're only pressure testing that indoor coil and the line sets because I got the valves closed at the outdoor unit. So let's get some soap. Let's test those RLS connections, those fittings. 435, okay. And I got my vacuum pump ready. Moment of truth. Moment of truth, buddy. Let's spray it and get a close up. Do we see any leaks? Do we see any leaks? Good to go. No leaks. I like the tool. It's very impressive. I don't like flare fittings, so I would either weld these, braze these, or I would use the RLS tool. And now I'm going to use the RLS tool instead of using the torches that tool is very, very light, easy to carry. All I carried was uh, the press tool, the jaws, and the uh, crimp uh, gauge, the depth gauge, the marker, the cloth to clean the copper. And I can put that all in a little bitty bag or carry the case up here, but it's easier than carrying the torches around. So I'm excited. Let me know if you use a tool like this. Let me know what brand you use. Let me know your experience. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think about what I did using the RLS tool. This was my first time. I did not, I've watched other people use it and that's how I knew how to use it. So I didn't read the instructions, although I am going to read the instructions now. And if there's something I did that you think could be done better, let me know in the comments what it is. That way I can learn. That is the first time I've used that tool. That was awesome. Very cool. I'll be using it again. Thank you so much, RLS. You rock. Link in the description for their website and link in the description for the tool. Drain tied back in. Insulation. Nice and tight. Waited a little bit just to see. 435. Right on the money. Let's hook up the pump. Got a good vacuum pulled. If you don't know how to use a vacuum pump, I've got a video on how to use a vacuum pump. I'm going to go ahead and open the valves and start the system back up and charge it. I got a bunch of different sizes of RLS fittings in these boxes right here. I'm going to talk to you about the cost of these fittings, what I'm going to keep in stock, because these are the sizes I think I'll be using. Impressive tool. Shout out to everybody at RLS and Paul. Thank you so much. This is impressive. It's a nice tool to have to make your life easier in the field as an HVAC technician, as an installer. And it's technology like this, new tools like this, that are a game changer. Especially when you have a job like a VRF project where you have a bunch of different indoor units. You've got several levels of to a building and you've got lots of piping. So I think this will come in handy because you can see in this video earlier, it made a good seal. I pressure tested it and it worked. So let me show you all the fittings and the sizes I've got here, and then let's talk about the cost of these fittings. All right, so I'm going to be using quarter inch coupling, three eighths coupling, five eighths coupling, five eighths nineties, three quarter couplings, three quarter nineties, and then last but not least, seven eighths nineties and then seven eighths couplings and this is what i'm going to keep in stock these are the sizes i think i'll be using so and you know when you're working with mini splits you're using a lot of quarter inch three eighths five eighths and then when you're working with uh three ton or less you're looking at three quarter and three eighths Anything over three ton, you're working with three and a half, four ton, five ton, you're working with seven eighths. So that's why I got those fittings. Now cost, and I got all the fittings at Ed's Supply. Take a look at this. We've got a quarter inch and it's $5.80 for just one of those quarter inch. Three eighths, you're looking at $8. Uh, then you're looking at five eighths, 90 is 20 bucks. And then uh, 5 8 coupling is $13. Those 90s are quite a bit more expensive than the couplings. And you can see a 7 8 coupling 
is $22 for me. I'm going to be charging about 50 bucks for that coupling. So those are the marked up prices. If you want to pause the video, stop it, and you want to uh, look at this just to try to gain an idea of uh, what it would cost uh, for you. Uh, if you're going to run a business and you're going to sell these fittings and use these on your jobs, then you can try to compare what it would cost for you to not use this and to braise. So let me know. It was quick. It was easy to use. I pressed those fittings in less than 15 seconds. It's American made. It's got a great warranty. If you have an HVAC company and you're doing VRF projects or you're doing a lot of change outs, you're working with a lot of piping, definitely do not pass up the RLS tool. Invest in your company by investing in tools like RLS. Let me know in the comments what your experience is. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you learned something down in the comments. Let me know what you learned. If you have a question, put it down there. If you don't, let me know who you are. Let me know where you're from. You've been watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad, and I'll keep you cool if you let me.